of hydrogen is the future so is the future generation so let's have some discussion what are the views of the young generations on composite industries or the role of young generations in the composite industry so we'll have next 30 minutes of a panel discussion wherein i request mr prem pal from sac isro to kindly grace the stage by being a moderator for this session please mr prem and from the team of young generation may i request from nit raurkila mr dhaneshwar prasad sahu sir please uh, from iit mumbai mr praveen kumar from pdeu mr jainish and of course we should have some young ones from the industry as well or the research organization so we have from atira mr shri om so we have a next session of panel discussion by these young composite professionals to be or they already are and the title would be composite industries the role of young generations so the stage is or yours mr prem thanks for reminding you have already cut the time from 1 hour right i am sorry for the panelist that your time has been reduced good morning everyone and thanks to the organizer for giving this opportunity next session of 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 next Challenges, thanks for organizing. 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 And I would like, I would like to know the panelist view on this. What are the unique contributions our young professionals are making in this project? Buying session of, 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 buying
Okay, it was nice discussion, and I appreciate your contributions as a young professional, and expect to continue with more energy in the future. And we will move to the next question, which is my favorite one, and I th I think this question is everyone's favorite who is sitting here because we are discussing since first day that in one hand we have deficiency of the employment, we have huge unemployment. Another hand, industries are facing difficulty to find the skilled manpower. So what is your point of view that how can establish company or organization support younger talent 
to grow in the composite area or to pursue their career in the composite area and what specific skills or knowledge they should focus in the training session so it will drive our future growth maybe um, uh, their start startup for young researchers they have first uh, they have understand the fund fundamental thing about composite uh, which are in, in our india we, we are seeing very like uh, like uh, means dedicated uh, course for that is uh, is uh, last two days uh, we have seen that uh, ahmedabad university dedicated that uh, dedicated course and master program in composite so like that there are uh, many universities uh, they uh, they have uh, initiated such type of program not for master level but also for uh, in uh, ug level so they can uh, they can understand thoroughly from from the scratch not for the not for just for uh, completing their project but but uh, application oriented so and also they can uh, 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 like such type of uh, conferences are uh, frequently held to uh, boost up their uh, plan regarding composite trade so that's it okay. uh, such a so we comments for the lab scale so so we get the sum of the results uh, during the experiment there is an en enhancement but to uh, industry they want uh, exact exact analysis results so that they can um, adapt in in their uh, product so there is one uh, lag is that some uh, simulation uh, simulation kind of things uh, are not going on in the research kind of thing and uh, student, uh, they are not that uh, students uh, how to sim uh, simulate like composite like carbon fiber and epoxy so uh, I, I have seen that uh, many, many of the working on the uh, uh, like experimental thing are not working on the simulation kind of thing so they have the skill so there are the opportunities okay uh, so when it comes to young people in the the main thing improve the amount of people entering the composite field is the exposure required to see as a child if I am into cars and aeroplanes I'll know that it's made out of carbon fiber but I don't know what a composite is it's just something that's what all I see about so if a young child has like introduced has been introduced to a course with, uh, from a grassroots level like basically Eighth grade or something. So there will be a point of initiation where the child would feel like, okay, this is something interesting. This is something I would like to indulge myself in something related to this because it's quite interesting to me. And when it comes to trade, uh, the people already working in the so manufacturing processes for components are not quite easy. Because it requires highly sophisticated, you know, uh, processes. So a basic trade of knowing what a composite is and how to manufacture it for like a period of a couple months for every training industry or something would be a good uh, choice to improve the people involved in the composite process. Now I think Sri Om will answer because he is from industry in Atira and they are taking the leading role in the training of the young manpower and they have the facility, all facility related to composite so you can explore, uh, elaborate it. Composite. As we know that uh, in industry composite is uh, young, so for manufacturing as a uh, composite is very difficult task for uh, because various processes they have various process having a uh, various tools without the tooling with the composite product cannot be so every process having uh, every steps so we should make a tool for designing of product and simulate in a software for product and uh, as we know that uh, composite is a vast country and we are growing in, in that and young professional can involve in innovative research for that and uh, develop new products instead of replacing uh, product models into composite we develop new product as a composite so in which I am growing as a young professional in Adira <laughs> working as a design and simulation in that composite product 
and uh, research at uh, new products and development of composite products. Thanks for nice suggestions and I hope our industries and academia experts will work in this area. Moving to the next question, this is for the students one that how can a student improve their skills in the field of composites? Earlier one was the, from the industry side, this is from the student side, how they can improve their skills and make the career in, the, in this field. Uh, I will say this one thing, uh, partly about the task they are uh, assigned during their course work, during their academia, they have uh, uh, do it sincerely and not for just for degree. So, it, in this case, they can improve their quality in the field completely. My point is that uh, a student, uh, as a student, uh, learn different types of uh, composites available and uh, what are the properties they are uh, giving. Uh, so that one, 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 one kind of uh, fiber or uh, anything in the pillars and all, they give a specific property uh, to the composite. So if the uh, specific property what is that giving. So you can uh, combine these two specific properties and you can make a new composite. I think so that it's all about interest rather than being forced onto it. So if someone has an interest in industry, if a project is given that person, specific person, so you might uh, get people from multiple because components like chemical industry, uh, mechanical industry, textile industry, it's a combination of all of us. So he will try to improve himself by uh, getting to know things about the other industries and incorporating the same to the mechanical industry and then uh, creating some existing all So that too, it's more of a research and development at the same time. So that's how one can work for it. I agree, sir. As uh, Desi said, uh, increase, uh, interest should be there for the students. So, in composite, uh, uh, just uh, like uh, this event and conference, like uh, these events, to increase the skills for the university students. So, these types of events are organized by the national conference, so they can develop their skills for this. Uh, for the development of skills, should higher higher education is should be because the composite is a highly complicated because it is anastropic as very well, different uh, properties in all directions. So by this as a, having a various challenges and various opportunities in a composite. So as we know that a composite uh, very challenges opportunities challenges is that a composite uh, anastropic difficulties in uh, uh, fabrications and uh, and <coughs> thanks for nice suggestions and I, I i hope that students will apply in their student career and now i will move to the next question and this is advanced one what are the emerging trends and technologies in the field of composite latest one you can share Whatever you know, as an example, I can say that in first day prof presentation, Professor Indradeep sir shown that you have mentioned in the first uh, answer also, that he showed that you don't need to be an expert to select the process. There, a student has made one GUI, simple GUI, by uh, giving data for your uh, geometry. You can get that which processes, which component processes, and like that, uh, what are the uh, other technologies and trends in this field? For that, uh, they have understand the, all, as I also repeat, uh, again repeat my word, they have understand uh, for what are the basic requirements for advanced technology like machine learning, AI boot. The basic requirement is uh, collecting raw data, what type of material, material properties, these things are time taking. Uh, once it is completed then uh, next thing is uh, 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 hands on practice, so not, uh, not a uh, big thing. So, Main, uh, main challenges uh, in advanced technologies to cover what are the basic, uh, basic thing uh, to collect uh, raw data. Suppose if uh, as I am working in a uh, sandwich bread, so I have made one graphical user inter interface. So my, uh, my work is to minimize the 
uh, ninth vibration. So I uh, I made one composite plate uh, where I have uh, proposed different types of cutout hmm. for aerospace application. So first I collected uh, many data for neural. Uh, I made a GUI uh, using neural network. So I have collected different data. Uh, what are the position? Uh, position of uh, that uh, cutout, like circular cutout, triangular cutout, rectangular cutout. What are the size? Uh, according to that, I predict the natural frequency and uh, the loss factor. So uh, my main task is uh, I have taken two to three years to collect that uh, data, and according to that, I propose a GUI where uh, within a, uh, within a, within two minutes I put their uh, what are what are uh, what types of shape, a cutout shape. What, uh, what are their size and uh, I put then I got the result what are, what are the natural frequency what are the loss factor and that that, that result is uh, within the uh, very consistent with the uh, finite element simulation result and when we do the numerical simulation in finite element method it is time taking uh, cost, uh, cost uh, very costly so these things are substituted by the artificial neural network so this uh, this is essential in data. So, I am from experimental background. So, what we are doing here is a very complex fabricated using HTML uh, fibers and fillers. So, those fillers and fibers they cannot uh, bond easily with the uh, matrix. So, many, uh, with increasing the bonding uh, strength between the uh, fillers and matrix, uh, we can. Uh, Enhance the mechanical properties and uh, other properties. So, uh, uh, re recent days, uh, many treatments are going on on the fiber, uh, surface uh, properties of the fiber so that we can the, uh, increase the uh, bonding strength, the interfacial strength. So, in my in my work, like we add a graphene particles to the carbon fiber to increase the interfacial strength. So, this kind of uh, recent recent trends. Yeah. We are mechanical engineers, so I. It's more of their designing part. So, as advanced, uh, we use, uh, there have been possibilities like we work upon a project design of a drone. So, there have been constant, like, you know, like advancements when it comes to China has developed a drone which can be completely solar powered. That has even a good payload capacity. So, Fighting comes to being used in uh, different segments of uh, engineering or other industry. So, like, there's no end point. As you said, the drone industries are coming forward for uh, making our composite products. As with it, uh, in space crafts, uh, we using a set memory alloy, in which uh, we reform the shape and. Uh, in space, we go, go and uh, form the structures. This is a deforming shape, and we use the origami structures. So, yesterday's maybe that uh, Varun Sharma said that uh, in biomedical, he used origami structures. 4D 3D printing. 4D 3D printing. Yes. So, this is a new trend, and AI also help in them for designing and material choices and for uh, reduce cost and uh, timing. So this is the new trend and new technologies involving in this composite industries for global development. Thanks for your invaluable information. And now I would like to move the last section of this discussion and expect your closing remarks within one or two lines because time is too short and five minute presentation is there after that. So you can provide your closing remarks. So as a young researcher, uh, I, I would say one thing that composite, uh, uh, I repeat my, uh, again saying that composite is for that uh, researchers are uh, conti continuously connected the industry person and uh, also they are visited uh, such type of con conferences and uh, they are also trying what are the possible uh, uh, ec uh, what are the possible equity. Uh, to connect such type, such, such type of such type of things, and uh, also they have thing new thing. Uh, also they have upgrade uh, 
you uh, themselves in this field day by day. My point is that uh, researchers should uh, understand uh, what is the industrial uh, problem is and what are different types of uh, composites and okay, so this is the end at the conference like we could actually help much to academia as well as the uh, when it comes to composites because as mentioned very long there's a lot of scope of research and everyone can actually <coughs> young professionals uh, this types of conference is very helpful for youngs and uh, professionals for that and, uh, this is very crucial for uh, developing of uh, composite industry in india and worldwide so as a young professionals i do at atira this uh, research and uh, development of uh, new products and designing and simulate it and pro de de develop a new product so i suggest uh, young to come forward and grow this industries thanks to all panelists and thank you everyone for your kind attention and time i think we have finished within time only now you are any comments or questions from audience please i would like to request the generation uh, to work in uh, one direction any research is incomplete if we will not do it commercialize so nowadays we are talking about the carbon aramid uh, glass glasses available in market is cheaper but we are talking the carbon we are depending upon the tourin then tezin then dumonts so why we cannot produce it in india in india policy of prime minister so uh, what will happen you do research we have the resources but if we will not get the uh, raw material from the import import raw material you know anti dumping duty all these things threats so how we can uh, use it in india actually so why are not thinking about the carbon fiber generation in india only in this field many researchers have uh they think about that uh, they have pro uh, they have produced uh, carbon fiber in india but due to many uh, lack of many things they uh, they postpone their idea you try please uh, no problem thank you sir Actually, nice input yeah that can you you can only take it as an you don't have all the resources at your disposal at least one one presentation was there from vitra they are producing the material for carbon fiber yes Yeah, but imagine the cost. Winter must be the amount of money and the manpower they already have with them. But again, yeah, this is a they are not possible to do that. Sure, sure. Point taken, sir. Yeah. Hi, my name is Rudvik. I'm the co-founder of a young startup called Valence. Um, so we we try to build what we call the next uh, Amazon of composite materials, right? So the question to the esteemed panelists is. what we've been noticing when we've been covering ground is challenge of change uh, so we've been meeting a lot of composite or a uh, lot of sort of industries that we understood that there is uh, what we've been seeing in challenge of change so what do you see or how can you encourage young companies like us uh, to to bring in more uh, make make materials accessible make uh, solutions accessible anyone from the panelists can take this Say, you know, reach out more is good because uh, the industries that have already have been you know, established, they would be so hesitant to change that it would be another you know, thing to actually go there and you know force them to try to use your things that you produce. But if you uh, try to work on you know, related to like research or someone who's into research or someone who's doing a masters. so that will help them to carry it forward to the next level which will basically be the industry so it will eventually help you out to bring out a product through this thing that could be good thank you thank you thank you so with that sir yeah please uh, good morning everyone presented here i am uh, from atira um i am dr bhavatosh biswas uh 
it was a very nice uh, uh, panel discussion uh, i enjoyed very much uh, uh, and uh, it is also uh, uh, very challenging uh, for ahmedabad university to who is um, introduce the uh, uh, course uh, or chemtech uh, uh, in the composite materials so uh, I am uh, very much thankful uh, to to this university to meet it or to uh, 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 come with that scholars that uh, he, he can do uh, uh, go forward with this uh, uh, with this course that uh, all other university uh, like IIT, NIT is uh, uh, make it importance and uh, is. Uh, uh, propagate to the young generation uh, and uh, if we uh, if you see that in every uh, area uh, that there is a good opportunity to introduce this uh, composite materials from structurals, uh, biomedicals, uh, whatever that and uh, um, young uh, researchers uh, it is also important that uh, after doing this uh, uh, course or uh, um, participating such uh, uh, conference or all of that. The uh, main focus should be uh, on on the uh, uh, job uh, creations uh, and uh, many companies uh, are uh, come forwards uh, with their uh, with these sections. And uh, but that is not enough. Uh, every uh, the young generation also will be come forwards uh, with the startups that, uh, in the, the, uh, the present uh, situation we observe that is in drone industries uh, is growth very fast uh, for it uh, that is development of this uh, such type of uh, 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 device or machines the weight and uh, cost is uh, very important so uh, uh, not only uh, the industry, uh, the institute, uh, along with that, the government sh should uh, make some uh, facilities or uh, initiation in this matter that uh, the present generation, uh, the new generations, are very much make very much attractive to this uh, uh, course and uh, industries. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning, everybody present over here. Myself, Monos from Academy of Scientific and Innovative Research. In this panel discussion, it is much more fruitful for everyone. Apart from that, some points I have interested to add it here. Because whenever any students going for composite area, he is maybe from multidisciplinary area and the application is multi-application areas also. In this condition, some policy maker has to be taken initiative so that the NSQ of level courses may be ordered by NCB like that. And there are the workforce required for the industry as well as researchers for the further advancement of the composite. In these areas, the organizer, I will request the organizer to start up some finishing school in composite area so that the student may be from chemistry, he may be from chemical engineering, he may be from the mechanical engineering, but he needs some finishing touch before going to the industry so that he will be industry ready. At the same time, the advancement by the researchers should be flow towards the juniors, those who are working in the field. So it will be fruitful for everyone. So I will request the organizer to go with some of the courses, maybe advanced diploma or NSF level courses, because right now there is no such courses for composite application or at working uh, professionals. It may be considered for the further stage of action. Thank you. Right, right, sir. Point taken and I, though I am not from marketing, yet I would mention that uh, in collaboration with Atira Ahmedabad University is moving in that direction. Atira in fact is already having many such schemes, courses wherein if I am wrong, please correct me Dr. Ankush, that uh, he mentioned sometime that okay, we have internships wherein all branches, all students are most welcome and they receive some scholarship as well by NTTM, uh, Ministry of Textile basically. And uh, they actually gives a hands-on experience irrespective of their background branch. Am I right, sir? Yeah. Even though uh, now, uh, with the support of the Ministry of Textile, uh, the TRS is also uh, promoting some of the skill development courses that will be targeted with the different groups. 
Uh, so that may be comprised of the TG1, TG2, TG3, TG4. That will be from the student level to the manager level. So this kind of the courses uh, may be by the end of this year. That will be in the uh, And uh, this kind of the course uh, based upon the level also that the uh, time duration has been defined and their work proficiency and the content has been designed in such a manner so that they can get the advantage like rightly you said that at the different level the finishing touch yes. is required. So this kind of th uh, things is already in the plan. And in continuation to that only, sir, in collaboration with Atira and Dr. Ankush, we have started masters and on the request of few participants, because they cannot pursue like that in full-time mode too here, so we have also given an option of uh, diploma in composites and needless to say, as you only mentioned, it is a, basically you can say a branch-less engineering.